The hook is acted upon by three forces, 30 kilonewtons, 40 kilonewtons, and P. Determine P in the angle theta so that the resultant of the three forces is 90i. So what we're going to want to do is take these three forces, P, 30 kilonewtons to the left, and 40 kilonewtons, which acts at a 60 degree angle. And these three forces have to add up. If you add them all up, these have to add up to 90i kilonewtons. So the first thing we're going to want to do is express each of them in Cartesian form. A is easy. That one is just minus 30 kilonewtons in the i direction, where we've sort of arbitrarily said that this is the x direction and this is the y direction. B acts at 40, has a magnitude of 40 kilonewtons and acts along the triangle at 60 degrees to the horizontal. So the I component is going to be cosine of 60, and the J component is going to be sine of 60. That gives us cosine 60, I, minus, because it's going down, sine 60, J. P, our P vector has a very similar triangle, except the theta is above the axis. So we have whatever its magnitude is, we don't know what P is, times cosine of theta i plus, because it's going up, sine theta j. Now, each of these three vectors has to add up to r, where r is 90i kilonewtons. If you're talking about how to add up these forces, what we're going to do is we're going to add up the i's, add up the j's, and add up, set them equal to r. So I have minus 30 kilonewtons in the i direction. I have plus 40 cosine 60 in the i direction from b. And I have plus p cosine theta in the i direction from p. Those are the i forces. I also have plus 40 sine 60 in the negative j direction. So that one's going to be negative, And plus p sine theta in the positive j direction. These two things, if I add them up, have to be equal to 90i. That means the i parts have to be equal and the j parts have to be equal. So we can break this into two equations. Negative 30 plus 40 cosine 60 plus p cosine theta has to be equal to 90. And negative 40 sine 60 plus p sine theta is equal to zero. Let's put all the constants on each side of the equation and leave just p times sine theta on one side. p sine theta is 34.641. p cosine theta is 100. I put the sine on top because if you've got two equations like this, the easiest way to do this is to divide the top equation by the bottom equation because then what you have is that the p's cancel and you get tan theta is 0 0.34641. That's by dividing the top by the bottom equations. So divide the top, the left-hand side by the bottom left-hand side, and the top right-hand side by the bottom right-hand side. You can solve that for theta. Theta is 19.107 degrees. Plug that value of theta into either of these equations, and you can solve, and P is 105.83. Make sure at this point that you're going to take this value of p and this value of theta and assure that it works in both of your equations. It's a quite reasonable immediate check. Now we can answer the question. Determine the p and the angle theta. So what we want is in fact these things. p is 106 kilonewtons and theta is 19.1 degrees.